It's all so effing crap. You're thrown into the world between shit and piss, naked, wet, cold, frightened, totally confused. And the next thing you know, you're spending your whole life getting over the initial shock of being born. And there's no real help for you. You're expected to perform from the first second, shoved from one institution to the other, primary school, high school, university or college, workplace, 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 hospital, death. That's it. That's your lot. You can't go back and do it again, which is just as well because if you went back to try and get it right, you just pulled it up again. So the only thing you can tell yourself is that you've got it right, or you're getting it right, or at least you're trying to get it right, when really you not only have no idea what it is, you never did, because even though everyone's got their stupid opinion on what it is, none of them seem to agree with each other, so who the hell's right and wrong with all this, and how can you even tell if there's no clear guideline to what's right and wrong, even though there are a million of the bloody things all clamoring for attention and confusing the F out of you. If you don't settle for something, you might find you don't like it, or it doesn't work the way it should, or the way you thought it would, so you get out of that, probably pretty despondent, or maybe you don't, maybe you just stick with it, even though you have it, because you can't think of anything else, and in honesty, you're too frightened to try, which is pretty much the same state for loads of other people, except those who don't have much of a choice to try something else, because if they don't, bombs will drop on them and kill them, or vicious armed thugs will rape and torture and kill the shit out of them or something. They don't have time to wonder what it's all about, they're all too busy trying to get the F away to something that isn't trying to rape, torture or kill the shit out of them, even though I bet they also wonder what the F it's all about, it's just that they don't have the freedom to dwell on it, which is probably just as well, because overthinking drives people crazy, that's why the stupid people are usually the better off. Just turn off any faculties that lead to speculation and just jump right into the stupidity of religion or politics or ideology or conspiracy or whatever the effort is in the marketplace of stupid and bad ideas. But at least you've got the chance to distract yourself from wondering what's going on and why and what the point of it all is if you take up a cause or meaning or purpose and just go, yeah, this is it, great, I know everything now. And just put aside the fact that you know as if all is me or anyone else in the world, which would mean in practice that it's all bullshit, it's all bloody nonsense, the whole lot of it, every point and purpose and cause and triumph, all of it just comes down to nothing but dust and being forgotten in the end, so why go on with it? Because we have to. So why go on with it? Because we have to. But why? Because we have to. But why? Because we have to. But why? Because